Hello and welcome to Ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to create an audio meter using text and expressions in After Effects. All right, so we are in After Effects and this is what we're going to create today. Welcome to Ukramedia.com. By the way, just a little disclaimer, I won't be able to show you how to set up everything you see in this composition. However, you can download the project file at Ukramedia.com slash tip49. And in this tutorial, I will show you the most important parts and you should be able to pick up from there. So for this example, I have this audio level right here and I'm going to convert this waveform into numbers so I can actually use them. So I'm going to right click here and go to keyframe assistant and then click on this convert audio to keyframes. So when you do that, you have this null right here. And then if you hit U, you can see all of the keyframes. So it kind of gave us the left channel, right channel, and then both channels. So I'm going to get rid of right and left and hit delete. All right, so now I only have this both channels. And next, I'm going to create a text in my composition. So I'm going to say just something value, doesn't matter. And I'm going to go inside that text and select the source text, hit S twice on the keyboard to solo it. And then Alt click on the stopwatch to activate the expression. I'm going to drag this down a little bit. So I'm going to set some variables in here. I'm going to say audio, you're going to be this right here. Okay, and then I'll create just a random variable. I'll call it n. And then it's going to equal to an empty string. So next, I'm going to do for loop. So I'm going to say for uh, i is going to equal to zero. And then as long as i is less than audio, we're going to run the expression. And then we're going to increase i by one with each loop. Okay. So let's write our expression in here. So I'm going to say n, you're going to plus equal to i, and then close curly bracket. Okay, so let's see what happens. Welcome to Ukramedia.com. As you can see, in a way, it created like an audio meter here. So if I drag through it, you can see it's kind of interesting. So, but what happens if we replace this i for like a like a string, maybe maybe lowercase l? Watch this. So now it looks more like it. Let's keep going with this. Because this is text, now we can go into these options in here and play with it. So we can bring things closer together. We can, you know, scale the whole thing. We can also make it fatter and then skinnier. So definitely the sky's the limit with what we can do here. But I think where I'm at right now is probably fine. So another cool thing about this, you can disable your expression and let's say you can type something in here and I'm going to type lowercase l 15 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's how long I want it to be. Okay, so I can activate the expression again. That's kind of cool because what it's doing is taking like a value between 0 and whatever the highest one here. So what is it? I think like maybe 18. Yeah, like 18, 19. And it's kind of creating these bars. But how can I restrict it to where it only goes up to a certain number? I'm going to type a linear expression here. So I'm going to say audio fix. And you will be linear. And I'll plug in audio in here. And I want zero to be my minimum value. And then I want it to go up to, uh, I think it was what, 18, the highest one. So I'm going to say 20 just to be safe. So it's going to go between zero and 20. Um, and will not go any higher or lower. And then I wanted to convert that to 0 to 15 because we have 15 bars. So it's not going to go more than 15 bars here. That should be good. And then in here where it says audio, I'm going to change that to audio fix. And if I let go, it's still going to do the same thing. But this time it's going to stay within 0 and 15. So it's not going to go over that. So you definitely get an idea of how to set something like this up. And you can keep altering things. You can say instead of 0, maybe you want to start at like negative, maybe or like 5, like right here. So if you type 5, it's going to start at 5 and go up to 20. So you can kind of adjust which peaks you want and how many bars you want. We can change this to, let's say, 25. And now we're seeing a lot more bars in our audio meter. This thing is definitely not perfect, but I just wanted to show you how awesome expressions are and just another way to create an audio meter using text. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.